Greetings, and welcome to Halfling 13 Gaming. Today's battle report is a grudge match between my son's Republic Tournament Force and my current Empire Blizzard Force composition. It was a bit of an impromptu match. We had some spare time, so quickly pulled together the armies rather than generating new combinations. Ben is steadily improving in his tactics. Some of his maneuvers in this game were unexpectedly successful. Grand Army of the Republic is led by Clone Commander Cody, who brings with him heavy support in the form of a LAT LE patrol transport and an infantry support platform. An ARC Trooper strike team provides for long range sniping, and four units of Phase II clone troopers fill out the bulk of the army. The Empire's Blizzard Force is commanded by the Dark Lord of the Sith, Darth Vader, accompanied by four units of snow troopers. A single unit of stormtroopers with a specialist and HH-12 rocket launcher provide for anti-armor capability, while an E-Web heavy blaster team is prepared to blast down the infantry. An ATST rounds out the composition, providing some heavy armor and artillery to the strike force. Unfortunately, in a rush to set up the game, my painted Darth Vader model went MIA, so Vader is using a more basic gray camouflage design. Obviously, the lat and support platforms still need a coat of paint as well, an issue I'm hoping to, co hoping to correct over the upcoming holidays with the airbrush. As always, we welcome our viewers, both past and present. All 3D models used are available either on Thingiverse or from various companies. Please check the description for details. The scoreboard and dice trays are a custom design, inspired by many others, but developed and crafted by Halfling13. The unit markers are a custom design, available at our Etsy storefront. Please post a comment if you spot any errors we missed, or if you have suggestions for tactics changes, or just to help us improve for the next match. If you enjoy this content, drop a like on this video or subscribe to the channel, or consider our Patreon options. Your support and feedback is appreciated and helps us continue creating content. New videos are posted on Fridays. An order to Cody, which is going to go give him another order to the copter. I'm going to give my order to Vader, who now gets two surges at the start of every turn. Going to activate Cody. He is going to. He is going to jump over this wall. Doing a superhero landing on the other side. And then he is going to take a shot at the E-Web. Let that thing go. What do you get? Uh, a crit, so, uh, wait, where are we playing the damage dice? In the middle. In the middle, okay. So that's this. What armor does it have? It has no armor, but it has two points of light cover, so it's going to have heavy cover. So these two would get taken away? Yes. Unless you have, cri unless you have um, something to enhance it. Uh... He's got precise one, which will give him another dice to reroll. So reroll three at that point. So yeah, I'll go ahead and reroll these three. Okay. Nope. Okay. So they take one, which they save. And that's one point of suppression for the e web. And then the air support. Okay. Okay, so we'll beam from the E-Web to the Blue Squad back to the E-Web. That you can do. Uh, does this use his search or crit? Whatever Cody has. Okay, so that's two crits. So two. Okay. I take one. And then the Blue Squad. Hold on, let me apply the one. Okay. Two hits. 
So canceled for cover, they just take a suppression. And then back to the web. Okay. Another crit. Okay. Another save. So one hit. No. Two. Yeah, I, I took one earlier. Yeah. And I took three suppression. Now, is the attack suppressive? Uh, the thing... No. No. Okay. And I don't think any of his weapons are suppressive. Okay. No. So three suppression, one wound, plus an extra suppression on the stormtroopers. Yeah. Me, I drew my e-web. He's going to activate. He's going to roll suppression. Scoring one, which drops him to two, which is still going to leave him suppressed. He's only going to get a single action, so he will just take a standby. Uh, picked a core. Going to activate these guys. They are going to do a full sprint. Hopefully gain to the middle building and intercepting transmissions. I pull a core. I'm barely out of sight. The, of the flame wow. troopers are going to surge forward. Get to there. And... To there. Fill in as best they can. Activate the art troopers over here. They are going to climb up to here. Just up to this little slope. Right here. And then they are going to, if they have line of sight, attempt to shoot the green squad yeah. of snow troopers. Which they are in range. One hit. I'm really... Are you sure they all have red defense? <laughs> yes, that's what stormtroopers get. You mean snowtroopers? Stormtroopers, snowtroopers, Empire gets red defenses. Go to the unit over here, and your core. They will dodge and stand by. I'm going to activate these guys right here. They are going to take a running run across the open area right here. Hopefully getting to cover and taking cover. Okay, I have a core. I'm going to go with the red snow troopers. They are going to double move. One to there. And one to there. And then they fill in and fall over. I'm not used to moving around on dirt. It, the speeder is going to move up, not all the way, so it doesn't activate the e-web, and stand by. We are, I'm going to activate this snow trooper unit here. They are going to attempt to rally successfully, removing their suppression. Then they are going to move twice. Once to here, and once to the edge of the building over here. And then they're going to take a shot with their steady at the clones that are just peeking out of the building over there. One crit. Okay, suppression. Going to activate these guys. They are going to move and climb up to the transmissions. Okay. And take a dodge. So they're going to climb and take a dodge. Yeah. If they can all fit up there. They cannot. Which means there's not a valid spot for you to go to. Okay. You can be along the base of the building and you still qualify. Okay. So I'll just pull them right here then. You can't be. You can't have units of the of the or members of the unit separated by more than half the height of the unit. I'm going to draw and activate the ATST, which is going to take a chicken walk up to the wall, 
where it is then going to position itself to fire its main gun and its mortar, for lack of anything else, at the skimmer. Correction on the attack, I am going to split fire, fire the mortar at that um, skimmer. clone I can barely see, and the main gun at the skimmer. I'm going to start with the mortar. Okay. Got a crit. Okay. You take two suppression. Why two? Oh, wait, suppressive. It's a suppressive attack. That's why I shot the guys. What if I put in your fire? And then a double rainbow versus the skimmer. He takes one hit, one quit, and then he's going to get three extra hits because of the surge. Uh, I negate all, I negate up to three hits. Why? Armor. Okay, that's separate. Okay. Order Arm of operations, first I determine what I get you. Yeah. Then we subtract cover, which is going to be two. Then if I have impact, it converts those. And my main gun is impact three, so that one becomes a crit. Then if I had any extra hits, you'd cancel three of them. So two. Okay, take one. Going to activate these guys right here. They are going to take a double move, moving around the tower. Activate Vader. He is going to take force reflexes to get a dodge. And then he will move up once. And then carefully move up a second time to squeeze into the section here. Okay. Gonna activate the copter, finally. Um he is going to take a move. Going to here. And then assuming he has range just Line of sight, he does. He is going to use his arsenal too to fire missiles and laser cannons at Vader. Let me check the surges. Surge to defend, so. Four? Yeah. Okay. So, heavy cover is going to cancel two. Two. I'm going to dodge, which will cancel one. And deflect one back. And then I'm going to attempt to deflect the other one. Nope. So I take one point. How many hit points does Vader have? Uh, seven now. Okay. This is my snow troopers. Storm troopers, I mean. They're going to go. They're going to climb up. take a uh, dodge. They can't do it. Or I guess they can shoot. If anybody's within range three. They can't fire the rocket, I, but they, I, can, I, they can fire the gun. I think I, it activates my standby. Does it? Yep. Okay, so we're going to get a standby from them, from the skimmer, and then I guess I'm going to shoot at the clones with my guns. Okay. Okay, so standby... Cover cancels two. Two. Save one. So one die. This guy who wasn't really in cover anyways. <laughs> we pushed him forward, he got the most of the blast. Okay. And then I shoot back with five white. And they got red defense. Again, I'm just going for any strike. One hit, one crit. Pass. Okay, one more suppression. 
I might need to get Cody over here to help with that. <laughs> With my card, I'm going to issue an order to this clone trooper, the ones in the front, and the ones over here flanking. And then with Fives' ability coordinate clone trooper, he is going to chain to Cody, and then he is going to direct vehicle the copter. And then I'm going to remove a suppression and add search tokens on the other two. Okay, my orders are going to go to Vader and the rocket squad. Vader first. First thing he's going to do is activate force reflexes to get a dodge, before I forget about that. Then he is going to take a single move forward, which will put him in range to then use force push against the clones way over here. They will take a short move this way. Go ahead and move the leader. Use a short move as far as he can, as far as he can go that way. Okay. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, and then I will cohere them. There you go. Um, and actually, that's how I think I can do it. Because I can cohere them within range one of the leader. Oh my gosh. That should be here. Why do you have to put the mini gun all the way? And then I will take his second move. Oh. I have a feeling I'm going to lose my artillery strike as a result of this. Yeah, because he can't shoot out. Or in. <sighs> okay, well, I'm fine with that. I'll do that anyways. So I'm going to go hear them over here. And then I will take a slight move with Vader over to here to get touch the building. And then use my last action to saber throw the six clones. It's going to be two hits, so two dead because of here. Unless you have impervious or no. something else. Okay. What do you think these are? A special? Yep. That gives them another suppression. Uh, because Vader did not engage, he's then going to use his artillery strike. He's going to be shooting at Cody and then beaming into the clones that are right beside him. Two hits. He's going to take this one... Uh, one from them? Yeah, one from them and use it to make this... Okay, so he takes one. And then I beam into the six man. So we're going to take two. They're going to use their other surge. Okay. So they both get two suppression. And that guy got a suppression. And then Vader is done for now. Activate Cody. He is going to roll for suppression. Yeah. And he is going to move up to these boxes. This is going to be awkward. You're fine. He, he can make it. Yep, you're fine. So move up over to here. Okay. And he does have two actions now. Right? And then he is going to shoot at Vader. Okay. Good shot. He surges to crit. Okay. So three crits. And a hit. He's immune to pierce, so I won't bother using that to make that lethal. Right. 
You can reroll that uh, to try to get a crit. Yeah, I'll do that. I mean, it's, that's the only option you really get from it. Nope. Okay. Three. Three. Okay, so I can't dodge those because they're crits. And you can't deflect them. Which means I can't deflect them. So I am going to take... My guardian is within... Yeah, you're definitely in range. Within for... range one. Yeah, you're definitely in range. I can cancel there. one hit result. But not crits? Does not apply for crits, so I gotta roll three. Yeah. Good shot, Cody. Go, Cody! He's basically a I hero... I take two. I, I take one. He's basically a hero sniper. I guess. Technically, okay. I could have rolled another uh, rolled another dice, but I couldn't. Okay. Through the E-Web, it's going to activate. It's going to have to roll Suppression. Oh, sorry. Um, scoring it off, which is fine. And then it's going to activate its Barrage Generator and shoot at that four-man squad right in the middle there. Uh, correction, my first action is going to be to aim, and then activate the barrage generator, and then shoot at this format. I score two plus a crit. That was a crit. They have I seven. shall re-roll, and I don't believe I have any enhancements there, so only two. So you have one cover for suppression, and that's it, two. I'm going to use a surge. You don't have a surge. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. do you? Yes, they automatically get a surge. Oh, fine. I haven't used it yet. So, two points of suppression. These surges are coming in clutch. But they're probably going to flee. These guys, they are going to take a move over to the um, skimmer. And take a repair act, um, free action. That... That is the only repair they can use now, and they will take a dodge. Okay. okay, ATST is going to activate with a drawn token. It is going to take a move forward, going slow because of the obstacle. Ending over here. And then it is going to shoot, hopefully everything. That is three, yeah. It's now within range three of the skimmer. So it's going to shoot its main guns and side guns. I get four. Skimmer has armor three, cover one automatically. Okay, so you get cover one. It's going to cancel one. You do not have enough to be obscured. So three. And What's you that? have armor, but I have it's all impact. So okay. three saves. Uh, wait. I'm pretty, I think it might surge. Yes, it does. Are so, you sure? two saves. Yes. Okay. Better than two points now. That's right. Okay. And ATST is done. Activate the sniper squad. They are going to take a aim and snipe Vader. Uh, where's Vader? It's right over here. Yeah. Okay. That's a hit. I'm going to use this to make it... Uh, nope, that won't work. I'm going to just reroll them both. Okay. Because you're immune to lethal. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Okay, no, no effect. But I do take a suppression that doesn't affect me. I'm going to activate this squad over here. I'm going to go ahead and roll for suppression. It's going none, which that brings them down one to one action. So they... They can't climb up now. Yeah, you can. No, they can't. We can't fit them up there yes, because of the thing. Yes, you can. You put the leader up within space one, and then cohere in both directions around them. You can put your leader further over here, and then put a couple guys over here. You can still get up there. Yeah, but are they all in range? As long as they're all within range, one of your guy, you're fine. Yeah, fine. Okay. Do another core. It's going to be the red squad here. They are going to take a single move and try to kill the clones that would not be clo killed. 
I'm going to move up here. And then they're going to throw grenades and shoot these clones. Four. And these are... They got cover because they're so much suppressed. Yes, yeah, so three. If you don't have a surge, if I fail all these, they're dead. Okay, fail them all. Nope. One alive. The leader is still alive. Okay. That's all that matters. And... For their second action, after that steady move and attack, they're going to take a dodge. They're going to activate the skimmer. It is going to take a aim and full bombard, fully attack the red squad. So that's another hit. Yes, they are hits, not crits. So one, two, three. Take this out. We roll these two. Five. And two for cover? Mm -hmm. Or one? Two. So that's three. Three. Okay. I will dodge one. So two. Oh, wait. You took a dodge. Oops. Out of that. Not too dead. I'm gonna activate this unit over here. They're going to dodge and stand by. Uh, gonna go with this squad. They're going to take a double move. Running over here. Luckily, it does not expose them. Wait, the rocket squad. They are going to take their first action to aim. Their sec and then activate their specialist to get a second aim, and then fire their rocket and all their blasters. These are at range three to the skimmer. Okay, so I got one crit on that roll. So I'll spend the first aim to restart rerolling. You get four rerolls per yep, uh, aim. Per aim. Scoring two more and a surge to hit. And then I'll do the other one with the other three dice. Mm. Scoring one more crit. So impact Ouch. three. Uh, no, cover two is going to get rid of two of them. Mm. Impact Ooh. is going to convert one. So three points. Two, two more. Two more. That puts you at three total, right? Yep. What's your breakage? Five. Okay. Don't always do. And his ability is tapped. Let me check something. Activate the um, copter. It is going to free action move a surge because of Clone Commander Fox from that squad. Um, then it will split fire its cannon onto the red squad and its missiles onto the green squad. After reloading. After reloading. So, I'll go ahead and do the cannons first. Okay. Good roll. Two gone. Um, so, I roll two. So two dead. There okay, go. and then the that. missiles, I think, are... Yeah, this. Uh, no search to hit, I think. Yeah, one... Because of cover? Yep. So one. Okay, yep. There, he did two. And suppression on both of them. Yep, I got the suppression on the one. And that one. But those are my dice go. Okay, last unit activated over here is the blue squad. They're going to take a double move out here into the open. Um, unless they don't need to go that far. Um, okay, they're going to go slightly back to avoid to get some cover over here just in case they get shot up. And then they are throwing grenades at the solitary clone that's left out there. Uh, that's a good roll. I got one automatic, one for cover, so you take three. He's gonna make all three of them. <laughs> no, he's not. 
I don't think he's even got any green tokens. He has yeah. nothing. He's dead. Okay, finally killed him off. Okay, you got one unit left. Nope, oh, nope, I, I, I just cleared the last unit. Yeah, that was the last unit. Okay. I'm going to get issue an order to Cody, the snipers over here, and my two vehicles. Okay. And then they get to remove the suppression if there was one? Uh, yep, they have already done that. Okay. And then you gave out your other tokens? Yep. And my order went to Vader. I'm going to go off starting with Vader. He is going to move. And then he will move... Um, second time to here, which will give him at least cover from the big tank and so forth. He's going to use force reflexes during his move, and he's going to throw his lightsaber at the skimmer on the right there. Bucky. Three. So, three points. Okay. So roll basically a, dead. Ro no, roll a damage the dice. It is basically dead. Roll a damage dice. Okay, what'd you get? You got a gear, Whatever damage, is. whenever you activate, you roll white defense. On a Blake result, it only gets one action. So put that dice on it. Sure, you can put it on the token, it's fine. Going to draw, got a core. They are going to take a move over here and then unload all of their weapons into the, the squad of snow troopers that, that was a hit I'm going to claim heavy cover seven did you take two out? Yes. Seven. That's what these two were. Seven. Do you need more red defense? Um, yeah, I need one more. There you go. Seven. Okay, so I saved four. I lost three. Okay. I'll take that roll. Yeah, I bet. Feel the power of my great machine gun. Okay, I draw a core. I'm gonna go with this solitary red red squad. He's going to roll suppression, rally successfully. And then he is going to move over here and take a single shot at the skimmer before taking his second action to jump back into cover where he can't be shot. Hey. Nothing. Yay. Gonna activate the skimmer. Give okay, me. That's gonna give Vader a dodge. And you roll this. You roll a white dice. Okay. Symbols. And it was on a blank. You only get one action, no, so you get two on, actions. Both on symbols. Yes. You get okay. two actions. It is going to aim and then shoot at Vader. Okay. Gonna get my money's worth out of this. It's two criticals already. Okay. Gonna. You. What do you, what happens with hits all? Two hits go away. Okay, I'm going to reroll two. That ah, long box. Take these two out. I'll go ahead and just keep that and then... Uh, okay. Well, th these two are hits already. Okay, so these two are hits already. 
And then... You're going I'll, for I'll maximum just, numbers. Yeah, I'm just going to re-roll this. Okay, you're going for maximum numbers. Uh, search your hit. So that's... Okay. Two so for cover. Two for cover. One for dodge. That gives me deflect. You're dead. Uh, I blocked both, and I spend the surge. So he deflected all the shots, spent one dodge, and one surge. Okay. I'm going to move the green squad. They're going to move up to the edge of the building over here. They're going to move over here so they can all get a shot at... They're going to take a shot at the skimmer with five dice, and then they're going to take their second action to move back and out of line of sight. I hate you. Pop uh, you got crit. I got and one crit. Surges. And how many? Ar what oh, armor do you uh, have? Those are mine. Yes. What armor do you have? Uh, three. Okay, so that don't will get through. So just one. That's all it takes. Yep. It's dead. Okay, take it out. Go with this squad, they're going to shoot at the blue squad. Aim and shoot, sorry. Okay. Uh, they still have a surge. Do they? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to just put these here. They'll use a surge to crit or hit? Hit. hit. If you use a spend a surge, hit. it goes to a hit. And then we roll those two. Another hit. And four. Four. Good shot. I lose two. Don't forget to remove your surge. And I draw a core. I'm going to go with these guys. I need to roll... Suppression. Successful. I'm able to do that fairly reliably. They're going to move up to here where we have pre-measured. And over to here. And then they're going to throw their grenades at Cody. Crit and a hit. So one, one wound. Yep, take one. And a point of suppression. That's two for him. Now Vader's gonna go eat him. Oh no! Okay. Gonna activate the copter. It is and going to dodge. Yeah, annoyingly. And the copter is going to move up. And I need to get on your side. He's going to move up. First here. Okay. And then he is going to attempt to... This is a really weird angle. And then he's going to move up again, because he cannot see them. Not going that full movement, but to here. Okay. Incoming. I drew the E-Web, who is going to shoot. He's going to aim, and then shoot at the helicopter for whatever that blaster's worth. Got nothing there. So I will aim, and I'll go with these two. Uh, surge to... Hit. Surge to crit. No, 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 no. I got one. One wound. See, you did something. You're right. The web, the web was effective that turn. Okay. And it crashes. Wait, the snipers, they're going to aim and shoot at this... Three man squad right there. Search to nothing. So you got a name. 
Yes. Reroll them? Yes, I want to do something. Well, that's a lot better. Two crits? I guess I'm unfazed by that. Uh, cover doesn't matter at this point, so yeah. I lose two more. That solo guy. Okay, I drew the ATST. He is going to activate his emergency transponder to get a free aim token. Then he's going to pivot for his first action and then fire his cannons at the helicopter. That's a little better. There's three, four, five. That's automatic quick. cover one I understand. with armor on. immune to hits. I'm going to aim one to reroll these two for two more crits. Oh my gosh. Okay, you had cover one for be a speeder, and these four turn to impact, so seven. Wait, you have impact four? Yes, with the cannons. I have three from the main gun, impact three, and the twin light blaster is impact one. So seven dice. Not my best roll. It's broken. How many did you take? Five. Okay, so five plus the one you have is six. So roll a break dice. Fairly sure it's broken. Yes. Okay, roll a break dice. Same thing. Okay. <laughs> Let's put that on the token and then give me two, two threes. You dropped it. Yeah. Here's your spare one back. Gave you change. Activate this squad. I'm going to just rearrange them so okay. they can all shoot. Okay. And then, and then they past. will shoot all their blasters at the few green guys that they can see. Okay. They don't surge anything, but they do have a surge, so they'll go ahead and use that. Okay. So three hits and a hit crit. So two gone. I take two. two. I don't have any extra cover, so two. I save one, lose one. Taking down guys. I draw a core. They are going to re ready, getting their specialist and rocket back, and then tap their specialist to get an aim and fire their rocket at this helicopter coming right up to them, along with their blasters. So I get a hit, a crit, a hit, and I'll reroll these four with precise one, precise two actually. What time is that? Scoring two more hits. It's 3rd, 36, and we're only on round three. Okay, so you have cover one, and I have impact three, so four. Oh. No. No safe. No safe at all. <laughs> there goes all my heavy guns. Yeah. There goes all your units that can't score points. Going to activate Cody for the last unit. He's going to roll for suppression. Nope. He's going to dodge and shoot the blue guy. Okay, and Vader's gonna get a dodge. Honestly, I don't really should. I shouldn't really dodge. Uh, I'm gonna aim. Yeah. I'm aim gonna aim. I'm gonna aim, aim and shoot. Okay. You got two points. So you yeah, he's dead. lethal. Yes. Okay. That takes him out. That's the full first full death that of is, yours. That is the first full squad I lost. End of the round is this unit. They're going to first um, rally. Maybe. Successful. Okay, they're going to take a move over here where they're going to take a shot at that clone squad. And then they're going to take a second move to get out of dodge. I hate you. I hate you. And get over there. So they hopefully will not be able to be killed quickly. I, I hate you. Okay. 
One crit. Okay, point of suppression which goes away momentarily. Chance cube. Which player goes first? All right. Ah. Good. Okay. Give my order to Cody. That's it. And I'm going to Vader. As, <sighs> as the command card state. I'm going to go with Vader first. He is going to get a free dodge because he activated. And then he is going to start moving towards Cody. Making Cody very scared. Going one there. Don't you have charge? I have relentless. Yeah, charge. And then one will get me there. And that is going to keep me just shy of Cody. Okay. But I can at least nullify the boxes for the cover. And then I will throw my lightsaber at him. I, I'm not using force reflexes. Um, so I'm going to recharge my force push to have it ready again. Two. Two wounds to Cody. He lives to fight. Okay, I'm going to take a wound and shuffle his order back in. And we're good. Gonna activate Cody. He's pop he can't get away, so he's going to go on the offensive. He's going to shoot, vi aim, and then shoot Vader. After. Observing. After observing him with twice for four total obser observations. Okay. Okay, one crit. Now, you can use observes and reroll one dice at a time. Or an I, aim. I can use the aim to reroll all three. Okay, that's probably your better option then. Yeah, I'll do that. So, the three troopers will have observes okay. to use. He searches to crit. Okay. Do you want to use observes and reroll those? Uh, no, I want to give more observes to the other guys. Okay. They got a lot more dice. Right, they do. And based off of that and the wounds I currently have, which is three, I'm currently okay. I'm going to not dodge because I can't dodge crits anyways. So I'm not going to activate deflect and I'm just going to roll two defenses. Scoring both. Where's the beanbag? And your court, going with these guys. They are going to um, dodge and stand by. Going to activate this squad. They're going to aim and shoot all their weapons into Vader, attempting to kill him. Okay. Oh, oops. What cover does he have? Um, say none. Okay. Then I'll count all these. First, use my real, the aim. Okay, do you surge? Do you care to surge? Yes. Yes, okay. I'm going to use the surge. Okay. Then you're going to use the aim to reroll two. Yes, these two. And then I'll use a, the two observes if these don't. Yep, roll okay. two more. Okay. Okay, so you have two observes left. Yes. You want to reroll any more? I'm going to make these suppressive in case he deflects a whole bunch of them. You got eight. Okay, so obviously I'm going to dodge. Yes. Okay, so that drops one. Here's two more. 
Okay. So drop one for the for the dodge. Seven. That gives me seven with deflect. Probably will kill themselves, but hopefully kill later. That's a lot of saves. Okay, I saved five and I took two. No deflects? I did not successfully deflect anything. So how many is he at now? Five? He hey, takes two, so yes, he's at five. Still got two more hit points. Uh, still has three more. I drew a core. I'm going to go with the green squad. They are going to shuffle out and take a shot at the squad way over there behind the building. And then shuffle back in. And then in. shuffle right back in, um, placing themselves such that they can't be shot at. Uh, three, two hits. Which block for cover. So you just take expression. I'm okay with that. I don't think I surged a hit. Snow Trooper surged a hit. I, get, I did get one through then. Oh, got one. Sorry. I'm going to activate this squad. Hold for suppression. Nope. One nope. action. Uh, no, they have, they have leadership two. Okay. Two actions. Yeah. They are going to move so they can see the... Vader. Okay. And then shoot blasters. Yes, and shoot five black dice at him. What cover? Heavy. Heavy? Mm hmm. So, do I want. I'm going to keep this one and do all the other two. Why? If you keep all. You don't surge. But you have a surge, don't you? Yes, but then you have to roll nothing. No, if you keep the surge, it turns into a hit. That means you get three hits. I cancel, I cancel two of them, which means I have to roll three saves. Yes. If you re-roll and you don't get anything and you don't get crits, then you get worse. Fine. Okay. Okay, so two of them go away for cover. I roll three. And I need shields. I'm not going to look. Okay, don't look. Okay, you don't want to look. Myself a Vader again. He's going to shuffle around these boxes and make an attack against Cody. Oh my god, six blanks. No. Six hits. So, Cody's dead. Wait, seriously? Yeah. So, Cody is dead. I'm going to draw the snipers. They're going to go... Fully claim the objective over here, and that's it. Okay. I drew a core. This red red guy over here. He's going to dodge and stand by. Can activate this squad. They're going to run and attempt to contest the objective. Okay. Going all the way in. No. no. Technically, that contests. Yes, I'm just gonna put my a second move to go further. Okay. Yes, just a bit further. Okay. So they don't get shot by the standby, and next round they can just move in and shoot them. That is valid. Okay, I drew a core. I'm gonna go with these guys. They're going to ready, activate their specialist to get an aim, fire their rocket way over here at those guys in the tower. And then split fire with their blaster, and only one guy can has visibility because of the ATST or with these clones moving up. Nope. Okay. Then three rockets with an aim against the other guys. I got three hits, two for cover. That'll get rid of one. I'm fine with that. Okay. Just point of suppression, which will go away momentarily. The ATST, the only option it has is to pivot once to here. And without a good shot, it is going to pivot a second time to face the new threat coming up behind him. Last one is the E web. It's going to move twice. Once to here. And then a second one just up to the cover.
these guys on the balcony, they're going to aim and shoot at Vader. Okay. Seven? Yes. E. Uh, no, I take three. That kills him. Finally, in one of my games, I've killed Vader. Hey. Okay, I drew the E web. It is going to ready. And then fire the barrage generator blast into the cover here with the with the clone. I got five minus two for cover, so three. One dead and two suppression. Good thing they've already gone. Yep. Gonna activate the snipers. They're going to dodge and stand by. Drone troopers here get drawn. They're going to move. We'll drop them down here. And then they will take a regular move. And just up to here. So they can be in position to run for the point next turn. Go with these guys right here. They are going to take a small little move in. Mm -hmm. Mainly trying to get the machine gun in the arc. And just fully unload on the two guys. Oh, fun. I can do it. I'm not going to use a surge. Okay, I need some red dice. You think five can dig it? That was been rolling. I wouldn't doubt it. Okay, here we go. Don't look. I lose three. Snow troopers are gone. That's them. Okay. Moving on. ATST is going to go. He's going to aim and fire the blasters, all the blasters at the um, stormtroopers in front of him, or clones in front of him. Okay, so. They're dead. Hold on. I got. There's no cover. Seven so far. I'll re roll these two. Seven. Four saves, three dead. Oh, that's survivable. Gonna activate these guys all the way over here. They are going to take a double move. Running to tr try and support their friends. Might be able to. So I'm going to activate my red squad here. He is going to shuffle out, shoot around the ATST at the three man squad. Oh, and then I should say he's going to shuffle back to. Oh my gosh, nothing. He keeps falling. Four man squad will do the same thing. They'll shuffle out, shoot around the ATST at the three man. And then get back into position. Nope. Okay.
First action of the turn six is the ATST. He's going to take an aim and fire everything again at those three men. Hopefully finish them off. And, and okay, I'll reroll one dice. Okay, uh, nine. Good save. Nope, but <laughs> no. three failed. <laughs> Still failed three? Yeah. Okay, well, really good save. That was close. <laughs> okay, and then I'm assuming we want to call it at this point? Yes. Okay. Just, just for time's sake. That's fine. I know it's getting, getting, getting long. Okay, we're going to call it at that point with the ATST taking out those clones um, with a Empire victory. So, good game. Thank you for watching this video to the end. If you made it this far, please consider a like on the video or subscribe to be notified for future content. Leave a comment for the players if you have any suggestions for improvements or tactics changes, or just ask why an option was or was not taken. Fingers crossed, our next battle report will hopefully be the awaited conclusion to our Battle for the Gold Invader tournament. Players have finally found an opening in calendars to deal with the last couple of combats.